but doesn't mean deals can't be had and investments are not made. That's for sure. All right, so Preston. Sure. Where in the world did a home inspection come from? Well, Paul, it's, home inspection is a relatively new profession. I mean, there were no cavemen, you know, uh, <laughs> let me check out your cave. Or, you <laughs> oh, know, come your, on. Uh, origin. Actually, it's only been around since the mid-80s, really. Um, prior to that, when people bought a house, everybody pretty much worked for the seller. It was buyer beware. Um, even the agents, I think, that was a thing that there wasn't the buyer's agent. I don't know. That's a separate thing. But I know that that came into play where buyers got more representation. But what sparked the home inspection industry was a case called Easton versus Strausberger. You can look uh, this up. Yep, it was in uh, 1984. Uh, what happened was the Strausbergers sold a house to Easton, a lady, in 1976. Um, the listing agent and the seller, there was some wonky floors, and the sellers knew it was built on a landfill, but they didn't tell anybody. Oh, and, a landfill. Yeah, yeah, and there had Dang. been a landslide out in the yard somewhere before. Again, didn't tell anybody. Um, so uh, Easton buys the house. A couple of years into it, she has a major landslide, cracks her house up, literally loses 90% of the value. Uh, it went from being, you know, worth 180,000, 1984 prices, to uh, like $20,000. So she sued, and she eventually won. And the decision of that came, you know, that that the uh, buyer should have time to do uh, due diligence, inspections, and all of this stuff. And uh, there's also disclosure requirements that came out of that. If a realtor knows about things, mm -hmm. has to material say material facts. Material yeah. facts. Yeah, mm -hmm. look it up. It's a really interesting case. Easton versus Strasburger. Uh, but ever since then, home inspections have pretty much been standard. Now, let me say they're not required, but they're pretty much standard because you know nobody wants to get into an Easton versus Strasburger case again. Everybody wants to do their due diligence and do their inspections and uh, you know have a, a third party such as myself, a little bit biased, uh, but have us come in and look at it, and it is uh, pretty standard. But really, um, before the mid-'80s, it didn't exist. People just had their parents look at it or their contractor friend or whoever. Their uncle. Yeah. The guy that was handy. Yeah, time. yes. And we've been licensed in North Carolina since, uh, I think it was 98, 99 was when that came in. Before that, it was unlicensed. But you do have to be licensed in North Carolina to uh, be a home inspector. Yeah. And South Carolina. Pay the fees, yep. pay the CE, yep. Yep. and all that. Kind Buy of the books. Yep. Yeah, you know, it's interesting. Um, you, we, you brought up the subject of material fact. Right. Uh, material fact is um, truly something, the definition of material fact is something that adversely affects the value of the property. Okay. What I found um, interesting about what you said was the knowledge piece of it, uh, which is true, and I don't think a lot of people know. Let's say I'm walking through a house, Preston, right. and um, I see something that the seller doesn't tell me about. Okay. I'm still going to have to tell, and I do, tell everybody. You have some disclosure. I uh, do. Uh, you uh, absolutely uh, have to tell. Even if the seller says, oh, you know, don't, I won't take those listings anyway. Um, if the seller's not willing to be honest, I don't want the listing. Well, that was the thing with this case, that it came out that the realtor knew about the wonky floors but didn't disclose it or mention it <laughs> yeah yeah when they say oh yeah here's the issue but you can't tell anybody that's the day where i go uh, you know what i'm not the right guy for you yeah i yeah. just that's not how i want to do business no i'm with so you i'd rather, I'd rather walk tonight. away yeah, yeah. ma'am rather walk away so uh, we've got about 30 seconds or a minute before the break um you've got in here we're going to talk about sears Kid homes? What in the world are those? Yeah, yeah. Prior to World War II, before uh, you know uh, the uh, subdivisions and, and uh, stick builders, people used to buy houses on the railroad car, and they would ship them to them as a kit. It was it was pretty interesting. It was I'm pretty looking interesting. forward to hearing about that. All right. So if you have a, a question for Preston or myself, here's what you do: seven zero four five seven zero eleven ten. You have a real estate question, a question about your home. Something has come up as um, about investment property. We want to hear from you. We are live. Give us a call. Share it. We want to hear about it. 704-570-1110. Preston Sandler with Home Inspection Carolina. Myself, Paul Jamison with the Jamison Family of Companies. Here on the show, Your Real Estate Today.
live on Saturday. We'll be right back. News Talk 1110 and 99.3 WTOP.